Veggie Fam, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday, and I sneak in another one in there through the week. And on Fridays, I also do a live stream Q&A, mukbang, whatever have you. So, if you like this video or you're interested in anything else, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little notification bell next to it so that you will be notified whenever a new video goes up. I think I said that, and I'm like backtracking exactly what I said already. So, in today's video, we're going to be making a mushroom ragu that you can pour over polenta, over a toasted bread, over some rice, whatever you like. So, let's get veggie. This is a quick recipe that I actually like to whip up because uh, I make this recipe really quick simply because I love to eat polenta. I love, love polenta and uh, Mia and I are the only ones in the house who actually like polenta. Or at, well, I guess that's like half of the house who like polenta, right? So we really enjoy polenta uh, with mushrooms over top or like so any kind of like sauce over top. And this mushroom ragu makes it so meaty and so delicious and it's so easy and again, quick <laughs> to make that it goes perfectly with the instant polenta that I like to make, which I'll also link down below. I have a written recipe for the instant polenta, which is super easy, and I didn't want to make this part, it part of the video because it's just so, so simple. Okay, so I just added a little bit of salt and pepper into our finely diced or finely chopped uh, onion. I have a half a cup of, I'm sorry, not half a cup, half a red onion that has been finely chopped or small just chopped small and then so now that that's translucent I'm gonna go ahead and add in two cups of mixed mushrooms and here I have in enoki mushrooms which are these little long kind of like straw like oh I'm trying not to burn my hand so little long straw like mushrooms and it comes in a pack I buy them at the Asian market it has like a little tiny mushroom bulb at the top and these are called enoki. And uh, so like I said, yeah, I get these at the Asian market. They actually have a very, very different flavor um, than your typical uh, regular mushroom. So these are gonna go in here and I'm just gonna let these cook down until they become like brown and kind of like golden. So you can get all those delicious flavors out of them. I have my heat on high right now. And like I said, I'm just gonna let these cook down and brown up so we can get as much flavor as we can out of them. All right, so I believe these are nice and golden brown enough for my liking. And at this point, what I'm actually gonna do is add just a splash of soy sauce because I love the flavor that soy sauce gives mushrooms. I feel like soy sauce and mushrooms together, they have like such a delicious umami flavor. And that's what we're looking for in this ragu. We want it to be meaty and delicious. And the next thing we're gonna do here is add uh, tomato paste. And I'm gonna be doing uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Yes, I am kind of like eyeballing with a spoon. The bottom of my pan is burning a little. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down to a medium. And I'm just mixing around um, our uh, tomato paste, that good stuff. And the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna add one cup of vegetable stock. Again, I'm eyeballing it, but I've done this plenty of time to know what a, a cup of it looks like in here. So we got a cup of vegetable stock. I'm gonna do some more black pepper. The full recipe with the actual like full measurements will be linked down below as usual. And I'm gonna do a teaspoon of uh, onion powder and then also a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. And we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for roughly about like three to four minutes. And we have this at a medium high heat. And I like to add just a small pinch of sugar to kind of like offset a little bit of the tartness from the tomato paste since I don't wanna cook this for too long. 
I mean, that was barely even four minutes. That was probably like two, three minutes and it's all set and ready to go. So you may ask, Rose, what do we do with this recipe? What do we do with this recipe? Simple, pour it over whatever it is you like. I like to put it on top of polenta because polenta has always been one of my all time favorite things to eat. And just like that, you have a delicious mushroom ragu that only took about, I guess in total, about 10 minutes to make. Meaty, delicious, there you have it.